We have a brand new magazine and box kit from our friends across the pond. This is titled Chloe's Creative Card Collection. And as you know, this style of magazine and box kit comes in a box and has a magazine with lots and lots of projects. This time there's 72. But in addition, there's a variety of things that are also included. So let me show you those first. There are three stamps that look very much like a daisy to me, but I have an idea. You can do lots of things. And then you have all of these leaves in this embossing folder. So that's going to come in handy. And this embossing folder has, um, of course, both sides. So you're going to get a nice press of paper as you go through. There is also a stencil, as you can see. So this is an all-over background. And then there are... Um, these stamps. So you see a woman with a flower dress. You have these same flowers that you have in the cutting dies, so that's helpful. Some leaves, a bee, a butterfly, and a shoe, and some greetings just for you, sending love and happy birthday. So a nice collection of things to start, but what I think is a real treasure is that all the ideas that are included in the magazine. Now, there are also papers and cutouts here, so I'll show you those when I get to that tab, but let's just get started. Here is an overall view of everything that is in the box, and just giving you some uh, overall, as I said, and telling you kind of where the pages are to see some techniques, but we're gonna go right through this. So flowers, and um, what I'd like to point out is these flowers have um, some, they call it crystallina. I'm sure it's something that comes from the designer, but I really think you can use the diamond dust to mimic that look, so that's nice, and it's available here. So more looks with it, and that's great to see. Okay, we're gonna go here, and you can see a variety of ways to use not only the stamp and the cutting die, whether it's a freeform wreath or it's a wreath or a half a C wreath onto um, a shadow box or onto a project. Now, there's more. So this is using that stencil in the back. And let me just pop that out so you can see. And then using the flowers and the greetings inside. So more of them, there's those shoes. And uh, I'm sure you've seen the greeting that says, life is short, buy the shoes. There you go. <laughs> now you have a stamp to go with it. And here we have just some clear looks. I really thought this was pretty, using that stencil and kind of fading out, um, having it inked heavier on the corners and having it faded in the center where you're adding more of the stamped images. I thought this was a really pretty look of that embossing folder. And here we go, we've got, you can really do those um, shoes in stamping, stamping them perhaps onto glitter cardstock would be quite spectacular, or just putting uh, some in pieces of it, so lots of paper piecing that you can do, should you like. Here we have the girl with the flower dress, and again, the stencil behind it, and the embossing folder around it, so all of those elements. The shaker card, good way to use those stamps. And we're getting into, I thought this was really pretty card with that happy birthday, and again, using the flowers. Now we're into the paper, so we're gonna have 52 cutouts and 12 double-sided sheets. So let me just show them to you. And the back side is always printed, so nothing goes to waste. And you can see the colors continue with that salmon and pink and green. That looks like the embossing folder. And that looks like the stencil, just a larger version, as you can see. So everything coordinates. As we get to the halfway mark, then it duplicates. So a total of 52 cutouts, 12 double-sided papers, and that will get you off to a nice start. And let me come into, so what I do is when I go through the magazine, I just put tabs on the pages that really said something to me. So um, there's more than what I'm showing you, but you can see with the flowers and um, how that is doing such a really nice job. This is the embossing folder and just some of those sprigs that have been cut out. Really pretty striking look. And here we go. 
So there's again the embossing folder in that great big shoe. More of the shoes titled Be the Boss. That's fun. This is quite stunning with that bouquet or that stream of flowers and the embossing folder. So they've done a really nice job of showing the versatility of the embossing folder and the stencil in combination with the stamps and the cutting dies. Just really, really nice. And let's see. Okay, this is a storage solution now that may not be what everybody wants to make, but you've got step-by-step -step photos and the directions. And this is for a wardrobe jewelry box is what they're calling it. So if you like to construct things, well, you're covered on this. Here we have the girl in the flower dress, maybe using it for birthday or maybe something else. So that's a good, good bit of inspiration. And here we have an easel card and some different other uh, constructions to help you out. And then finally, we have a little bit about Chloe. Chloe being the designer, and she has a company by her name. So there is the magazine, 72 projects, the stencil, the stamps, and the cutting dies, and the embossing folder. Just really kind of everything all together in this Chloe's magazine and box kit. It's available now, and I am delighted to say it is exclusively from paperwishes.com.